All right, it's time for Uncle Marty to lay it down about Russia. Okay, now I've been arguing for a while that Russia's in great shape because of the sanctions. We are literally throwing boomerangs at Russia. So let me put, the, put it in this, uh, another way, okay, because I've been arguing about the currency, which has been going up, by the way. In fact, they've erased five years' worth of downtrend. Uh, they they're on the gold standard now. I keep getting into arguments. People, that, you know, they they're trying to they're trying to spin it. No matter how you spin it, the numbers the, the charts don't lie. Okay, you just can't argue with the charts. You just can't. Five years of downtrend erased. They're on the gold standard. They've they've created an alternate to the uh, straight pay, the straight payment processing. So they've 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 got China. Uh, they've they've got. I mean, Italy is buying up rubles. Uh, that was that was in the news recently. So don't tell me that they're isolated. They're not. Okay, people are buying freaking rubles, and they're buying them in large quantities. They're buying oil. From from Russia, so don't tell me that 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 they're isolated, and don't tell me that uh, other countries that are all in agreement that that we're going to isolate Russia and we're just not going to do it. That's bullshit. Every, every time America gets into a, an accord with other, these other countries, as soon as you, our backs are turned, they're they're violating the accords. They're violating their own the, the the sanctions that we all agreed to. So so don't even go there. Don't even go there. That that okay? Uh, they're they're completely cut. They're not completely cut off. Okay, our country is no longer a net exporter of energy. We're we're now turning it into an importer of energy. We're no longer energy independent. Russia is okay, and people are buying their their energy from Russia. But that's I'm not even going to go on about this because I've already talked this to death. Okay, I've already shown you plenty of videos and pictures and charts and evidence if you don't want to believe it, that's fine okay your 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 educational pedigree does not trump uh my the strength of my argument okay numbers don't lie but it, it, let's get let's get on to the economics of the thing russia historically and i i know because i was i'm while i don't claim to be an expert i still know enough because i was actually there in Russia, and in in fact, I was there in in two thousand one or two thousand two. I was in Moscow, and let me tell you, I saw more foreign businesses in Russia than I saw Russian-owned businesses. Uh, when I was there, uh, I, I had uh, uh, the girl I was seeing at the time, plus an interpreter, and we would go out. And the girls would constantly. It was like McDonald's, KFC. Except they didn't call it KFC; they call it Bush Legs because uh, they, they the Russians credit. Bush for bringing KFC into into uh, Russia. So they call it Bush Legs, uh, uh, Baskin Robbins for Christ's sakes. Uh, so we would go, uh, and, and it was kind. Of, and I'm like, look, I didn't fly my fat ass halfway around the planet to, to eat at Mickey's. I wanted to eat at Russian places, and uh, so and, and and see Russian things and go to, but the. the the landscape was dominated by American places, Japanese places, uh, French places. Uh, the French cologne was like everywhere. Uh, freaking, uh, there's just more foreign shit there. So here's my argument. When a country imports more goods and services than it exports, okay, when, in other words, if it's buying more than it's selling, okay, it's better to be isolated. It's better to be isolation because if if you, all you all you're doing is importing, then that means the only thing you're exporting is your wealth. It's think of it think of it as a a, a fat person, okay. If if they take in more calories than they burn, they're not going to be healthy. A country is the same way. If it consumes from foreign sources more than it's burning, it's not going to be a healthy body. Okay? Russia, for a long time, has has been importing more and had more foreign businesses on its soil 
than domestic. That's just a fact. Okay? So these sanctions, as I've argued in my other videos and, and my other posts here on Minds, have done more to help Russia than hurt it. Because now when you cut off the foreign business, you pulled Mickey's, Okay, Mickey's is gone. Adidas is gone. They're no longer standing in line in their Adidas, you know, uh, it, it, waiting for their Starbucks coffee. Okay, all of that shit's gone. They've got to fill the vacuum. That means the 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 Russian people, Russian-owned businesses, uh, uh, products, goods, and services are, are going to fill that void. And that means they're going to be hiring Russians. There's going to be Russian factories, not not American factories, not Japanese factories, not French, uh, not you know, not anything else. And they're going to fill the void. It's better it's better to be isolated than to hemorrhage money. It, it, it you, I mean, you heard it for decades: buy American, buy American. Well, Russia was not buying Russian for the longest time. Everything was imports. I know I was there. I saw it firsthand. As I would say that I'd get mad at the girls. I'd be like, you know, hey, I didn't fly halfway around the planet, you know, to see American things. And, and that was the other thing. The, 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 the westernization of Russia was was uh, was was kind of offensive to me. Uh, you know, it, it, it was a it was a bittersweet kind of thing. I think Ramstein uh, did a great uh, music video on this uh, uh uh, if you've ever, if you've never seen the America video, uh, we're all living in America. It's it's mostly in the German language, but it's it's not a love song. In, in fact, that that that's actually one of the lyrics. This is not a love song. I don't speak my mother's tongue. Uh, watch that video. Ramstein was not sure how that video was going to be received here in the United States when it was released here. Uh, because it, it it's it it, it 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 has a very powerful message and, and throughout the, the 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 music video uh you see like white santa claus in africa you see uh uh, uh you, you you see uh an indian guy drinking a coca-cola smoking a marlboro uh it, it shows the americanization and how how the west is poisoning the culture and diluting the, the 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 natural culture of these other nations, and that was what was happening in Russia. I mean, uh, uh, you know, when you you, you look at uh, you ever watch the reaction videos uh, uh, of Europeans about uh, about America, they hate our guts, but they'll hate they'll hate our guts and 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 while downing a Starbucks, standing in line uh, with their Adidas sneakers. You know, waiting to buy that American T-shirt with with words they have no clue what the hell it says. You know, and it, 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 you, they have every right to be. You, you know, I. I but a nation, it, it's kind of it, it. It's kind of bittersweet to me. It, it's it, it, it's hard to explain. It really is. In, in one sense, there's, a, there's an American pride. It's like, oh, look how we've reached out to these other countries. But at the same time. We've we've tainted their society, and, and they're no longer, you know, their their national identity is being erased by us. So it's it's kind of a bit. I'm not, and, and I'm not in any way, you know, one of these leftist imperialist dogs, you know, against capitalism. Don't get me wrong. There's there's a pride to that, but at the same time, it's kind of sad to see a, to see a country lose its national identity, and that was happening in Russia. I was there, you know. So now you're all you've done, uh, but with these sanctions, by cutting them off, is you're now you're gonna you're you're, you're gonna you're gonna firm their resolve again uh, to be isolationist. They're gonna they're just gonna hate everybody. They're not gonna they have no reason to come to the table and negotiate anything. You've just taken away any reason uh, uh, to come to the table and negotiate. They're just not. You've thrown everything and shown no intention of of coming to the table with them you have no intention of having a dialogue with these people none none and as a result they're just gonna they're just gonna cut you off and and they're gonna do what they're gonna do and i say good 
it's it's going to strengthen their national identity. They're going to stop hemorrhaging the uh, their uh, their wealth to other countries. You're doing more with your sanctions. Your sanctions, your sanctions are all boomerang. It's all boomerang. And so far, everything you've done has come back to us. Uh, Russia and Ukraine are eighty percent of the fertilizer, eighty percent of the wheat. Okay. Yeah. Uh, with the, the COVID nonsense and everything else, the supply chain is, is collapsing. Uh, you can't even get baby formula, but it's it was plenty sitting on the border for the people crossing illegally. But I'm not even going to get into that other shit. I'm just going to say this. If you're, uh, I'm going to go back to my original argument. If you're importing more than you're exporting, then the only thing you're exporting is your wealth. Period. Okay? So it's better to stop the bleeding... And basically, that's what we've done. We've th we we we've thrown a band aid on a on, on a screaming child that didn't want the band aid, that didn't want the iodine and all that. And we've 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 done that. We've done that. And and now now they're going to be healthier as a result of it. If if a if a person consumes more than they're burning off, they're going to get fat. Okay. If the person, it's the country is no different than the human body. If you consume more than than you're burning, you're just gonna be unhealthy. If you're importing more than you're exporting, your country is going to be unhealthy. It's better to be cut off in isolation. At, at least you're not you're not you're not gonna get any worse. You're not gonna get any better. Ideally. You want to be exporting more than you're importing, but given given a, a choice between a, a zero sum game where you're just isolation, uh, you got an isolation mode. That's way better than just constantly importing all the time. And if you think that Russia is isolated, there's China, there's there's Venezuela, there's there's, there's plenty of countries. That are that are friendly uh, to to Russia that will do business. Like I said, we 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 all agreed, all countries agreed. But yet, there was, uh, just a, a week ago, there was an article about the uh, Italians buying up the ruble. Your your sanctions mean nothing; they really do. So there you have it. Yeah, you can you could that you're perfectly fine to disagree with me all you want. But again, I've shown the charts time and time again. Time and time again, and the Russian ruble has gained. I think it's like thirty to sixty percent. I mean, it's erased five years of downtrend. Five years of downtrend are gone, gone. Five years of downtrend gone. Look at the look at the charts for yourselves. It's been going down for twenty years. Five of those years have been just been erased. But at this rate, I, I think the ruble is sitting. It's bouncing between. Uh, 0.017 uh, and, and 0.018 last I checked. It's, it's been bouncing between that. Uh, I think that the, the ruble by January will be at 06. I think it'll be 6 cents uh, by January. Uh, that's 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 my prediction. I, I, I honestly believe that by January it'll hit 6, if not higher. If not higher. I mean, just just the, the climb that I've seen so far. Uh, I, I But I honestly believe that the uh, the Russian ruble will hit 6 cents by by. Uh, uh, December or January uh, by the end of the year. It's definitely going to hit six cents. Uh, so first chance I get, I'm, I'm buying some rubles. But then again, you know, you believe what you want, pumpkins. I really don't care. But the charts don't lie.